it out, guys. This little generator, I hope you guys can even hear me, it possesses my favorite quality of any mechanical device. It just fucking works. It's not the smoothest running thing on, on the planet, but you know, it's carbureted. That's just what carbureted engines sound like. This grinder claims to be 700 and 10 watts. Wow, that's way better. Claims to be 710 watts. And the maximum power on this thing is whatever six and a half times, I guess 120 is, or so they say. I bought this generator not that crazy long ago. They've been making them for a long time. I bought this one at Harbor Freight, which I think stopped selling this exact kind of generator. I don't actually know why, however. I think this thing is great. Now, I've seen a lot of people hate on these generators, and my understanding of that is obviously there are going to be some bad ones out there. I mean, it's premium Chinesium, so, you know, you get what you get. But most of the people I've seen complain about these little things have unrealistic expectations for them. It is not a powerful machine. It is a single cylinder, 63 horsepower, two stroke engine, yeah, that'd be nice, 63 cc, two, two stroke engine. But if you go into it with reasonable expectations, I think you'll really like these things. Now, I bought this thing because it's really handy. You can take it with you places. It doesn't weigh very much. Okay, so if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you need to sharpen a chainsaw, now that... Me sharpening that saw with the diagram, that is going to make the keyboard commandos absolutely lose their shit, but I don't even care. I actually learned that trick from some tree service guys. I got to talking to him one day. I'm like, wow, I bet you guys, you know, you're running all these chainsaws and putting countless hundreds of hours on them. I bet you have some mega special high dollar chainsaw sharpening rig somewhere. And the guy's like, nope, they sharpened their saws with a 12 volt die grinder that they fabricated some alligator clips on and they ran it off the battery of their service truck. That's all they had. I, I kind of like self-taught myself by watching them. It's really not that difficult. And I'll tell you guys, it's not the world's greatest sharpening job, okay, for, you know, cleaning up the farm, taking down like mulberry trees and brush and that kind of thing. It works great, honestly. It's way faster than digging around with a file. But anyway, that's all beside the point. The point is this little generator is excellent. I love this thing. It cost about a hundred bucks back in the day when I bought it. It's two cycle. That's the same fuel mixture that my chainsaw is designed for. So it's really handy using this to run the die grinder sharpening. If I can pour the same gas out of the same, yeah, you know, I can put the same mixed gas in both machines. And you know what? It just works. Now I'm really happy with this. It started on the sixth pull today after sitting for almost a year. That's half the reason why I wanted to get it out and even use it on that sharpener because I don't like it when things sit for much longer. Now, to be fair, it, it did die and I had to pull it a bunch more time. But, you know, still, it got going after sitting for almost a year, which for anything carbureted, especially anything two-stroke or single-cylinder, that's really saying a lot. It's simple. It's reliable. I'm going to turn this into that crazy long of a video. But, you know, before I bought this thing, I watched multiple videos on these things there's one guy who did a really good tear down he you know he looked at the internal machine work on these things he looked at the bearings and everything he said it's actually a remarkably high quality tool and that's echoed my experience now like i said it's not powerful okay it will not run for example a circular saw or like a metal cutting um you know cut off saw or something it'll run an angle grinder it'll run you know at least my die grinder here It'll run, you know, like a handheld drill, for instance. It'll run a battery charger. It's really good for that. If you have something with a dead battery, you know, a lot of the time this plus like a lunchbox size car battery charger will weigh less than moving the battery. So you can carry this out to wherever the truck is sitting or whatever. You start it up, you run the battery charger off of it. You, you know, you come back in an hour and the vehicle starts. So yeah, it's really good for things like that. You can run lights off of it. You know, it's very handy. Obviously, you have to have reasonable expectations, but especially for the price, these things are sweet. Mine's been flawless. I've never dicked with it ever. 
All I've done is put gas in it, and I did, to my credit, remember to run the gas out of it <laughs> before I let it sit for hmm, 10 months or so. I really like these things. I'll see if I can find some around on the internet, but either way, there's a bunch of them out there. Not so much on the used market, because I think people generally try to hold on to stuff like this. In my experience, this little generator has been great. This is your random five-ish minute review of the day.